Happy New Year to everybody. Start of a new week and a new year. And uh, Jaden and I are down in Combe today, kind of cleaning it out. We've got most of the cows moved out of here, but we've got a few that we haven't got. We need to come see if we can find today. Um, got a busy week. We're gonna be moving cows, drifting cows to that lowest points of the winter range and getting them settled for hopefully some snow. <laughs> kind of odd, you know, here we are first of the year and we don't have any snow. Um, so that's what we'll be doing this week, be busy and lots of riding. And anyway, hope you enjoy the video. All right, we made it down in here and we are starting to look for some of these cows that we're missing and we've got tracks right here in the road i think you can see that pretty fresh tracks that are going down through here the dogs haven't started to pick them up yet so i don't sure how fresh they are but we're gonna go up the river a little ways and see if we can find them they're definitely here the tracks aren't that old Okay, we're well right down here where a trail kind of goes to the river. On the other side of the river, we can see something. It looks like a bull. Let's see if we can zoom in here and you can see him right there. That black bull, like right there. Anyway, he's on the other side of the river, so not one of ours. wanted to just take a little bit of video of this uh, ruin up here. It's just really a neat ruin and really well preserved. It's called River House. Kind of cool. Okay, show you one more ruin right here. It's really cool. It's right around the corner from that river house, and so I'm sure it was some kind of a granary or storage, but also very well preserved, and you can't hardly even see it. Um, it's right in there, and then there's some walls right there. Anyway, pretty cool. Okay, we're back in here. We're on some more fresh tracks and we're hoping the dogs can work it out a little bit. But it's pretty thick, hard to see anything, but we think there's some cows right in here somewhere. Like I said, we've got fresh tracks, so we're gonna keep riding circles and See if these dogs can work this out. All right, I had to get off my horse to get through that so thick. But I can still hear the dogs. They're way down here. So I'm gonna get down here where I can get back on my horse and make a run on it here. All right, getting a little closer to the dogs. Boy, it's thick and nasty. They've got them held right here. It's taking me a while to get down here. They're right here, but I can't see them. One cow? What's that? There was at least two I saw. 
We have to get out in here where we can see what we got. Okay, right here in these trees, I finally hit a little opening here. Let me see what we've got. I think we just got one cow. I, I saw two for sure as we were running through that brush. But all I can see right now is one. So let's see what she is here. There she is. All right, come here, come back. So thick, she's standing right there. She's 10 yards from me and you can't even hardly see her. Anyway, we'll kind of run, see, Jaden went to the end of these little trees here. The river's uh, right here and it runs into a cliff wall. So I know they can't go, can't go down any farther. I'm gonna sit right here with her for a minute while Jaden goes down there. Number 53 is what I think I can see through the trees there. Okay, dogs got on another one down here and I literally cannot get to them. I'm gonna have to tie my horse up and see if I can get down here on foot. So I'll go back here and tie him up and walk down there and see what they've got and see if I can get her back up this way. Okay, boy, finally got to him. One cow and uh, she's in here I'm trying to push her out on foot. But boy, she is deep in this brush. I'll turn the camera around here. Kind of see, I mean, you're literally on your hands and knees in here. I think she's in front of me. <laughs> I tied my horse up. Hope he's still there. Oh man, can't hardly get through this stuff. Okay, okay. Caught up to her. You can see her, she's right in front of the dog. You can see how thick the stuff is that she's standing in. Good grief, this is insane. All right, I'm just on my knees crawling through this thing trying to get her out of here. Jaden's holding another cow, the other cow up there. Let's see if we can get this one with him. Well, we got one cow that decided to dive off into the river. It is now in the river way up there. And I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to see if we can get around her, but I'm not going to drive my horse across this river this time of year. There's ice chunks floating down it, and it'd just be too dangerous. Not worth it. Well, this brush kind of got the best of us today. <laughs> we uh, are coming out of here empty-handed. Uh, we know of three cows that we saw in here, but we were not able to get any of them. And uh, that last cow, got, getting her out of the brush, she bailed into the river. And uh, it's going up the river, and I think she might have crossed to the other side, but I'm not sure. So, anyway... Uh, I'm going to blame it all on Jaden. My bad. So, that's just kind of the way it goes, you know. He, he's got to take the blame for anything that goes wrong, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. That was a little rough. Well, anyway, we're going to just regroup and come down a different day with probably a few more people and a few more dogs. And we're going to see if we can get these cows out of here. But that was a little rough. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ride back the truck. All right. So, it's a new day. And uh, Jaden and I are down looking for a spring that's supposed to be here in a pasture where we're going to put these some cows. So we're looking around, we haven't found it yet, but we're gonna hike around a little bit and see what we can see. But I just thought you had to see this view from right here, just crazy.
It's what they call the Valley of the Gods. Okay, we've dropped off the ledge and we're on a bench. And we think we can see some water right here running down these rocks. And it looks like a little cave right here too. See those dark streaks? That's water running out of there. So we'll go see if this is where it's at. Okay. So these old timers said the spring was here and that they had developed it, put a trough in here. And there's a place that cows could get off this edge in water. Okay. Boy, it's just a little bit of water right there. Like somebody tried to put some kind of plastic in there. Poly pipe. Huh. More plastic over here. Somebody worked really hard at developing this. said there's a trough in here, but I sure don't see a trough anywhere. Huh. Okay, we come around the corner and followed this poly pipe around here. And we did find a couple of troughs. Can't quite see them yet, but we'll walk around here. You can see them. Sure doesn't look like they collect any anything though. Nope, nothing. Huh. Well, okay, I guess now we know. Man, somebody worked hard at this, bringing these troughs over here and trying to fill them up. And there must be some kind of little trail back this way that they brought the cows down right along here. But not something we're gonna be able to use, not without a lot of work. Hey, good morning. Well, winter is here. We got a little snow last night. It's cold and we're just getting ready to move these cows to lower elevation in the next couple of days. And so we're starting to gather this morning. Um, but we got out here and a cow has been hit by a car out here on the highway. And it didn't kill her, but she's 
gimping around pretty good. So we're gonna load her in the trailer and take her back home or we can feed her some hay and see if she can heal up. I don't know if she can or not. But anyway, so we're gonna do that before we start gathering cows this morning. Okay, here's that cow. See, she's pretty banged up. I'm gonna take her in and see if uh, she'll heal. If she won't, she's pregnant. She's got a calf, and we'll just feed her, feed her out, so she can have her calf. I don't know. Well, luckily we had a krill right here. We didn't take her very far. We're gonna see if we can get her in the trailer. I hope she'll get in. Is able to get in, but good grief. She's hurting. <clears throat> get in, girls. Get in, girls. Get in, girls. Okay, so we are gathering cows today, getting them ready to go down to that low country. And it's quite a push. Uh, gosh, where we're riding right now down to the low country is probably close to 20 miles. I'd say 17, 18 miles. And so we've got three days that we're gonna spend getting the cows that far. So today, Jaden and I are out and we're getting cows to a uh, fence up here where we hold everything and then we kind of make our big push down the country. Uh, so that fence is oh five miles from here, five or six miles maybe. Anyway, cold day, wind's kind of blowing, snowed last night, but it's a good day too. Got that hurt cow in the trailer and we're going to take her home and, and we're going to be just gathering and bunching these cows. So as I'm pushing these cows up through here and getting things kind of together, in our last video we said that we would introduce you to the people that are out here and that help us and that are here a lot and tell you a little bit about who they are and what they do in their real life. The reality is is that uh, unless you come from lots of money or you inherit things it's really really hard to get into ranching it's hard to get a hold of grazing permits it's hard to accumulate that much private land um, it's just a really difficult thing to get into however you can still get into it uh, you can do like most of us do uh, we come out on the weekends and and help people that have ranches and, and need help and it's just fun it's, it's a lot of fun. It's also a passion that people have. They just ha have a connection to horses and cows and wild country. And it's hard to get that out of your system. <laughs> and I'm speaking from personal experience. It's, uh, it gets in your blood and you can't get it out. You just always have this longing to be out here and to be horseback and to be, uh, cold and <laughs> and hot and whatever else so uh, anyway it's something that people do because they they have a love for it and most people have other jobs that they do and I'm um, speaking for myself I've only been able to do this full-time for the last year I actually retired from another career um, I've done it all my life uh, but I've had to have other job to uh, support me and my family financially. Uh, the other reality is, is that ranching does not, you don't make a bunch of money. You're not getting rich. That's for darn, darn sure. You're going to work your guts out and uh, you're just going to get by. It's the lifestyle that people 
are drawn to and are after. So that's just the reality. So anyway, uh, we're going to introduce you to these people and let you know what they do outside of this. And that ought to be fun. It'd be a fun thing to do. So as we get going here, I'm going to catch up to Jaden and we're going to talk to him first. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. All right, getting these cows together. Gonna let them have a drink before we start out. Uh, we've got about four miles to push them, and we're gonna pick up a few more cows along the way. Um, anyway, I hope you can hear this all right. It's kind of windy, and this wind is in this mic. But this is Jaden Baker. Jaden's been working for us for three or four months. Um, he just got back from serving a mission for his church. He was gone for two years. He was down in California. And uh, he worked for us a little bit before he left on his mission. And uh, just comes from a great family. But anyway, he gets a full-time cowboy. So that's kind of cool. He's I'm living the absolute dream. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look dreamy out here today? Maybe not, but it's still a lot of fun. It's uh, 28 degrees and we're bundled up and the wind's blowing. <laughs> anyway, so let me get a little bit closer so I can make sure this wind is going to be good. But why don't you tell us what you're getting ready to go do, Jaden? So right now I'm starting my application for the Utah Highway Patrol. So I'm um, planning to go into law enforcement. And so that's my first step um, is to try with the Highway Patrol. So that's going to be his real life career. Cowboying is going to be his bad habit and his passion probably, but his real life career is going to be into law enforcement. So, uh, you dating anybody? I am, yes. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> Had to put him on the spot. So, he's been dating and uh, he might even have a girlfriend. Rumor has it. The rumor has it. So, we'll see how that all goes, but we're just super glad to have Jaden here for the next few months. He's getting ready to take some tests and things with the highway patrol and that's his hope, you know. I don't know what that takes to get on, but that's Jaden's hope and and so that's what he's up to. And if I don't make it, that's okay. I'll just keep on cowboy and we'll see what happens. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's we're going to move these cows out. Okay, so we had some questions about this cow, this black, white stripped cow right here, and what it was, because it doesn't fit. <laughs> um, I have no idea what she is. It's a cow that was raised here on the ranch. Um, her mother was solid black, and she was out of a black Angus bull. And this, this cow is three years old. She had her first calf last year, and her calf last year was red, believe it or not. It was one of the few red calves we had. <laughs> so I don't know genetically what's going on with her. Kind of a weird deal in there somewhere. But uh, she shouldn't be black and white, and she's not a Galloway. <laughs> so anyway, if you have uh, some ideas on, on that or you know anything about genetics and how these things work. It'd be great to hear your comments and thoughts on what she really is. Okay, got these cows to where we're going to leave them. And uh, tomorrow we'll be out gathering some more. Now we'll head back to the truck. See if we can keep them freezing to death. Hey, good morning. It's a new day. <laughs> it's cold, <laughs> but it's okay. It's not as cold as it was yesterday. Uh, anyway, we are still gathering cows, getting them ready to drift them 
uh, south. And uh, we are, this morning, first thing, we're gathering up those pregnant heifers that we put uh, in that little pasture a few weeks ago. And it's time to take them into town. So that's what we're doing this morning. They need to go in and we need to start uh, kind of feeding them and taking care of them. They're going to be ready to calve here in probably, oh, four weeks, five weeks. So they'll start. So we're going to do that first this morning, and then we're going to run out to that other pasture and finish gathering the cows that we started yesterday. So it'll be a busy day. Kind of a neat ruin right there. It's called Tower House. I saw some heifers over here on the edge of a cliff, so I'm headed over there to get them. Okay, so these heifers are right here on this rim in front of me. But what a cool place. Man, it's just beautiful, amazing scenery right there. Anyway, I'll get up here and show you where they're at. I think there must be hunting some water out here on these rocks. get up here where you can see these dang things but they're right out here on the edge of this cliff so this is kind of what heifers do they just explore and go places where they shouldn't go <laughs> so when we come in here to ride boy it takes a lot of riding to find them I just got lucky and saw these from across the canyon and then had to ride back to get them. Anyway, like I say, that's just kind of what heifers do. I'm glad I saw them though, because if I hadn't have, we'd have been hunt hunting for these for hours. And I wouldn't have even thought to come over here. Oh, yep, they're drinking in that little pool of water right there, in that rock water. Crazy. That's what they're doing out here, hunting water. All right, we'll get them back to where they're supposed to be and get them in the krill. All right, we're still missing a few, but we got most of them gathered. And we are going to go put them in the krill. All right, we are back in this other pasture now, gathering cows that we're gonna drift south and just getting them bunched together and then we're going to be headed out All right, got everything together. Now we got to push them through trees for several miles and then we'll pop out on the highway out there. Anyway, I'm just sitting here and look down at the ground and could see some really cool pottery. Let me see if I can get my horse to stand still long enough. Kind of cool, got some neat designs on it. All right, back to work. Kent and Nate. 
Parker here and Cody and Quinn and they're all riding helping get these cows pushed across. had to get off and walk for a minute get the blood flowing back in my feet it's cold all right stopping for our donut run Well, 23 degrees, no wind yet, but a little chilly. Just starting to gather these cows, and then we're going to be on the drift. All right, kind of got the cows gathered here, getting ready to put through this gate and drift south. We got about nine miles from this gate to drift these cows today. That's what we're doing. Okay, we're packing this colt today too, Mesa, and he's learning a lot. He's getting a little bit of an education today, but it's really, really good for him. Be a good first time out. But we just got these cows lined out, and we're drifting them down the country. Kellen, this is Kent's youngest son. He's got a younger daughter, but this is Kellen. How old are you, Kellen? Yeah, he's, 10. he's 10 years old. Doing really good on his horse today. Well, it mine, it's yours. He's uh, been working these cows over. We got a colt right there. We're packing Mesa today, getting him used to being here with the other horses and with the cows and everything that goes along with being out doing great and Quinn is packing his colt right there too today and Kent is right there is riding his colt a two-year-old he's a little farther along than the rest of us that colt's doing great
Okay, we are here. Kellen, he made it. He rode the hair off that horse. Nine miles from where we started. Anyway, the sun's about to go down, but we made it. Got a pond right down there that all the cows are at. And the feed is great, and everybody ought to be happy. Hey guys, head over to Instagram. We have a small hat giveaway that we're doing. Um, so go follow us and like the post and tag people to enter into that giveaway. And then make sure you watch out for um, some more giveaways that we're doing in the future. We're going to do some bigger ones through YouTube and Instagram. So make sure you're watching for those and how to enter. And hopefully you can be the lucky winner. <laughs>